Uh, more now on one of our top stories. Uh, UN Special Envoy for Global Education, Gordon Brown, is calling on the International Criminal Court to investigate the repeated bombings on a school in Idlib province. Gordon Brown joins us live now from the United Nations. Uh, Gordon Brown, tell us more about uh, what you're calling for here and why. Well, this looks like a war crime. It looks like an intentional attack on a school. We've seen 98 schools attacked in Syria over the last two years, but we see the loss of life here and the sequence of bombings as something that has got to be investigated as a matter of urgency. Now, in 2014, when uh, the Security Council was asked to investigate atrocities, uh, Russia vetoed that. This morning, the Russian Foreign uh, Ministry have said that they would uh, support an investigation. I think the Security Council should seize on that opportunity, have as wide as possible an investigation into what's been happening in Syria. Remember that hundreds of lives of children have been lost, but of course adults as well. Uh, and it's time the world knew who was to blame, what had happened, who is to be held accountable. Uh, and if we can get to the position that the International Criminal Court can investigate and prosecute, that would be to the benefit of all of us. And that apparent support uh, from Russia, do you think that will carry through to the UN Security Council, where more than likely uh, a veto will take place and, and Russia will not allow this to be passed on to the ICC? But they should honour what they've said this morning, that they will support independent investigations uh, by international authorities. This is a terrible tragedy. These were children at the school uh, who were told that there were problems and left the school, were at the school gates, were bombed and died. Uh, we don't know the exact number, but it's over 20. It could be more than 30. Uh, and there was not just one bomb uh, dropped, there was a sequence of bombs on different parts of that school. And it looks as if under the uh, International Criminal uh, Court um, statute, uh, an intentional bombing of a school is regarded as a war crime, and it must now be investigated. Now, the Security Council can carry out its own investigation, or the International Criminal Court, which would be better, should be brought in with its prosecutor uh, to look at what has gone wrong. Uh, but we cannot continue. Uh, 2016 has been a year of fear for children, not just in Syria, but Iraq. It's happening in South Sudan. It's happening in Nigeria. It's happening in other parts of the Middle East. We must take seriously these crimes against children, which are war crimes in themselves, and we must do something to investigate this and hold people account. This is an opportunity that Russia has given by its statement and it should be held to that statement in the Security Council. It is well said, but of course people have uh, said similar things in the past that the ICC should get involved in what's going on in Syria. And even if the ICC do get the sanction to investigate, one has to ask, will it make any difference? Well, as I say, there is an option. The Security Council can do what they did on Sri Lanka and have their own investigation. Uh, if that is unacceptable to some parts of the Security Council, the important thing, in my view, is that an investigation takes place. The facts are known. Uh, we are still in the dark about many of the things that have been going on in Syria. As we're in the dark about what's happening today in uh, Mosul, in Iraq, and in other parts of the world, we need these investigations and we need to give uh, authorities the power to expose what has been wrong. Uh, and for children in this region, there are now 11 million children displaced in four countries who are not getting the chance of any education. They will be out of school probably for the whole of their school age years. Uh, they are being not denied the chance to fulfill and realize the potential. Uh, and of course, they're prey to extremist influences. And of course, it is leading to the migration that is causing many problems in Europe when families see no prospects of education for the children. We need to do something about investing in the education of children and proving that schools should be free from attacks under international law. Finally, what is your assessment of uh, the Syrian government and Russia's involvement in the crisis in Syria? Well, I I'm not going to be the uh, person who is trying to take over from the other diplomats who are trying to reach a, a conclusion to this. What I do know uh, is that Syria is inflicting huge suffering on its own people uh, and that Russia is part of the uh, group of uh, uh, supporters of the Syrian regime that are causing much of the trouble that we're now facing in Aleppo. Uh, we have got uh, to find diplomatic way forward. But in the meantime, we must ensure that international law is upheld. We cannot just simply stand by 
when international law is flouted, crimes that are war crimes are carried out, uh, and we must not become inured to the fact that this is going on, uh, and it's going on in a very systematic way, not just in Syria, but in other parts of the world. Children are the innocent and vulnerable victims, and for those people who need our help most, we have actually been doing the least. We need to provide more support for children. Gordon Brown, thank you. Thank you.